Today on Rappler. A magnitude 5.9 earthquake in Davao de Oro causes landslides and power supply problems. Transport Group slam Vice President Sara Duterte's red tagging of jeepney drivers. The UN Human Rights Chief hopes for strengthened accountability over the Philippines' drug war under Rodrigo Duterte. A multiple murder complaint is filed against Congressman Arnie Tevez over killings in 2019. On International Women's Day, Pope Francis calls for equal opportunities for women. Filipino K-pop fans decry the quote, unfair portrayal of photocard collecting. And K-pop idols Taeyeon and Espa are coming to Manila in April. Hey guys. The magnitude 5.9 earthquake and its aftershocks that struck Davao de Oro Tuesday afternoon continue to impact the province's power supply, causing damages to homes, commercial establishments and landslides, and forcing many families to evacuate to safer areas. The Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office reports aftershocks were still felt on Wednesday morning, March 8. At least 229 evacuated families sought refuge in the town of Nabunturan alone. Tuesday's earthquake coincides with the Bulawan Festival and 25th Charter Day celebration of Davao de Oro. It also marks the second time since Monday that earthquakes and aftershocks jolted the province in the Davao region. Tagum City Mayor Ray Uy ordered the suspension of work and classes in public and private schools until Wednesday. Jeepney drivers and operators challenged Vice President Sara Duterte to, quote, broaden her mind about their grievances, calling her red-tagging a diversion from government lapses. Duterte earlier released a statement calling the nationwide transportation strike, quote, communist-inspired, and transport workers, quote, poisoned by the ideologies of the communist movement in the Philippines. Cubao Divisoria Piston acting president Edwin Mabaza says drivers are just fighting for their rights and loan means of living. Several organizations of jeepney drivers and operators declared the strike to protest the Public Utility Vehicle Modernization Program. Piston, along with Manibela Transport Group, ended their strike on Wednesday after a discussion with palace officials in Malacanang late Tuesday. The United Nations Human Rights Chief reminds the Philippine government of its obligation to deliver justice for victims of abuses, including those killed under former President Rodrigo Duterte's violent war on drugs. The government has announced steps to vet senior police officers for corruption, and I hope there will be rapid progress in prosecuting human rights violators. UN High Commissioner for Human Rights Volker Turk also calls for, quote, an end to other politically motivated charges. Turk's statement calling for strengthened accountability comes as the International Criminal Court recently authorized the resumption of the probe into Philippine drug war killings. Government data says at least 6,252 individuals were killed in police operations alone by May 2022. This number does not include those killed vigilante-style, which human rights groups estimate to be between 27,000 and 30,000. A multiple murder complaint is filed against Negros Oriental 3rd District Representative Arnolfo Arni Tevez Jr. in relation to killings in Negros Oriental in 2019. The Philippine National Police's Criminal Investigation and Detection Group files the complaint with the Department of Justice. The complaint says the allegations were based on killings in Dumaguete City and two in Negros Oriental from March to June 2019. The filing of the complaint comes shortly after the death of Negros Oriental Governor Roel de Gamo, one of the Tevez's political rivals. Tevez had earlier said his clan would not benefit from de Gamo's death. The legal counsel of the complainants alleges the congressman summoned and instructed the so-called killers to commit the crimes. One of those killed in 2019 was late former Negros Oriental board member Miguel Dungog, an ally of slain Governor de Gamo. Pope Francis decries violence and prejudice against women and says granting equal pay and opportunities would help create a more peaceful and sustainable world. In a book preface published by the Vatican News website on International Women's Day, the Pope stresses the differences between men and women, but calls for, quote, equality and diversity on a playing field open to all players. He adds, women need to get equal remuneration with men for equal roles and described ongoing pay gaps as, quote, a serious injustice. Pope Francis also refers briefly to Women's Day at the end of his weekly audience in St. Peter's Square, asking the crowd for, quote, an applause for all women because they deserve it. 
Francis has condemned discrimination against women in the past, but like his predecessors, has ruled out women priests. Many Filipino K-pop merchandise collectors report getting their photo cards stolen. They attribute the thefts to an episode of GMA's Kapuso Mo Jessica Soho that featured a senior high school student and her 1,000 peso K-pop merchandise collection. The feature says the fan owned 3,000 photo cards, including some that ranged from 15,000 pesos to 50,000 pesos each. Following the airing of the episode, many Filipino K-pop fans express frustration over how the collecting culture has been portrayed, saying it's, quote, unfair and put collectors in a bad light. Some shops report their packages of K-pop merchandise were getting lost during deliveries. Zoe, also a photocard collector, suspects the TV show's emphasis on the 50,000 peso card led most non-fans to think that was the average price of a card. Kapusumo Jessica Soho releases a statement encouraging fans to report the incidents to the police. But K-pop fans fear they won't be taken seriously. Taeyeon of K-pop girl group SNSD or Girls' Generation is coming back to the Philippines. Event organizer Make It Live Asia announces Taeyeon will be joining labelmate Espa in the upcoming Kverse concert. The one-night show is set for April 11 at the Araneta Coliseum. Additional details such as seat plan and ticket prices have yet to be announced. The upcoming concert will serve as Taeyeon's first visit to the Philippines in more than three years since her solo concert in Manila in December 2018. Meantime, the show will mark Espa's first time in Manila. Taeyeon made her solo debut in October 2015. Her solo hits include INVU, Weekend, What Do I Call You, and Fine. Espa is known for hit songs Black Mamba, Savage, and Next Level. And that's today's wrap. I'm Nina Liu. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok.